Oh, look, it's Sam. Dirty autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. What the hell did I just walk into? Internals and ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, um, we'll continue this later. I am very, very disturbed. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So in the last video we finally managed to complete Radio Free Monarch which admittingly took a long time. I don't know if it's because the way I was playing or whatever the situation was but it ended up taking quite a bit of time. But with that being said in this video we're actually going to be starting a new part of the main questline called the City and the Stars. And it actually looks like we're going to a brand new place called Byzantium. Uh, docks or something like that, which obviously says right here. But if you guys remember at the very end of the last video, we actually received a radio transmission by that weird doctor or scientist guy. Uh, and he wanted me to go over there and see him. He said that he had something very special to give us. So I kind of want to go over there and check it out for myself. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right. So where was it? So this is for Byzantium. It was in Roseway. So let's go ahead and go to Roseway. We're going to be in Terra too. Awesome. So let's go. We have to talk to that one scientist dude. I've done plenty of smuggling runs, but this thing with the chemicals is bold. Awesome. Okay, well, we're not doing that just yet. That's definitely the next mission we're going to do, but I'm, I was actually kind of interested. Whoa, my game is like stuttery right now for some reason. So we have to go into this city in Roseway or whatever because the scientist wants me to go see him really quick. I'm actually very curious to find out what exactly it is that he wants to give me. I'm hoping it's a legendary, but of course I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, the beautiful Roseway premium outlet, Auntie Cleo's. Alrighty. Now I need to remember exactly where he was. It was... Somewhere? <laughs> I, I want to say it was over here. I want to say it was in here. Nope, it wasn't him. It was a dude that had the mask. So that means it's got to be in this building most likely. Oh, that's the guy that we pretty much screwed over, isn't it? No, that's not him either. Oh man, this is going to be a tough one. It was one of the side. There he is right here. What's up? Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. Absolutely did. I went to great risk to send that. Uh, I did. What did you mean by an item of great value? Aha. Uh -huh. I knew that it enticed you to return to our dangerously unprofitable township. Well, I'm here, so of course I it did. I am here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature. And what is very that? First weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. Wait, I don't understand. Why are you giving this to me? The schematics you fetch for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be uh -huh. safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. Yeah, hey, I mean, I'll take it. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'll be sure to put it to good use. Thank you, man. Let's check it out really quick. It is a legendary. It's like the Force. The ultimatum. The ulti nature. Uh... Corrosion 15. Let's just go ahead and put this right here. It's stronger anyways. Let's see. It's 
<laughs> it's a bunch of different colors. But alright, let's go ahead since we already came and picked this up. Let's go ahead and go back to the ship and fly to the next place. I wonder what the... Let me see. Hold on. Oh, dude, that sounds... I wonder if I can get that to move. But not right now. <laughs> right now I want to continue this mission. Should be pretty interesting, man. I I can't wait actually. The something in the stars. I don't know if you guys if you guys know anything about me, man. I love I'm a big fan of the moon. I think the moon is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Stuff like that. Stars too and just galaxies in general, man. I think it's fascinating. So the fact that this mission has something to do with stars, obviously it's probably not directly, but I think it's fascinating. Alrighty, let's go. Oh look, it's Sam. What the hell did I just walk into? <laughs> oh my god. I am very, very disturbed. Moving on. All right, now we're going to Byzantium. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. That was fast. Can we talk? Yeah, sure. What's up? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. And what is that? I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Oh, your parents live here? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Uh, you don't strike me as the type who keeps in touch. No, you know what? Of course. Just let me know how I can help. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. Oh, it's okay. I, I, I can see it. suggesting we stop by when we're in the neighborhood. So, we'll go I'm straight there. Originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. And you just want to catch up with them? Yeah, exactly. I I'm kind of confused with her tone. Uh I don't see why you can't go see them when it's convenient. Let me see. Uh I'm proud of you, Ellie. Of course you should reconnect with your parents. She's going to not like this answer. Reconnect is a strong word. <laughs> and, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Why? Uh, okay, we'll go. I mean, sure, why not? Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. Ah. Uh, I I get it. It's almost like you want me on my worst behavior. That's the idea. Anything else? Oh, <laughs> uh, do you have something to say about the whatever word that is? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Why do you say that? Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? <laughs> He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. My angle? It's not my plan, it's his. Phineas is trying to do uh, good for the colony. And I want to help, that's all. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. <laughs> it wasn't even the right one. Oh my god, Phineas, dude. Good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Yeah, Besides, you got a point there. this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Because they're my people. Because it's the right thing to do. Hate to say it, but the right thing rarely pays well. I'm not in it for the money, girl. The boards put a bounty on his head. And they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. So what's your what's your angle? That makes no sense. If you're against them, you might as well be with us. Uh I'm not going to become some corporate lackey. 
Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No, yeah, no that's true. Here's going to. Absolutely agree with that. Uh, well, that's for sure. Glad you're looking at this sensibly. Last time I agreed this much with anyone, I was talking to a mirror. <laughs> Anything else? No, I mean, we're good. Uh, no, let's go. All right, so we're in Byzantium. So I take it this is like... A corporate area? Yeah, corporate troopers and stuff. This should be interesting. Hey, talk to me. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Yeah, I think that'll be me. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Oh, so Phineas has a code name. You have information for me? Yeah. You're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Uh... There's gotta be a way to catch the minister someplace less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't you get me into the minister's estate at least? Whoa, I'm not one of your B and E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Okay, so what can you tell me then? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Yeah, I mean, thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Uh, how exactly did you get involved in all this anyways? I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Uh, meaning? When the birds start disappearing, you know something's a foul. No pun intended. None taken. Come on, this is important. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> but most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Not really. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sounds like my old job. I had all these bang-up ideas, you know? Like making everybody haul their own damn boxes. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> That's Everyone funny. Everyone needs a suggestion box so they can voice their thoughts. So what if nothing changes? Uh, that seems pretty normal, actually. <laughs> sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. Oh, crap. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. Um, and? At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it. Never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh... If you ask me, the suggestion box is pretty useless to begin with. I don't know how else people are supposed to complain about things they can't change. But that's not the point. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, 
I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Or maybe they prioritized their assets on more important and valuable things. Granted, that's probably not the case, but still, that's also a possibility. Oh, uh, well, look at that time. Looks like I got work to do. Let's go ahead and actually do... Which one was it? No, it wasn't that one or that one. Oh, that's Faction Quest. Companion. This one. Let's go ahead and check out Ellie's parents. I want to prioritize her mission because I like her a lot. So, I gotta go this way. What's up, broski? Don't mind me. I'm just, you know, just trotting along. I'm nobody special. Wow. You guys look uh, very interested to be here. Of course, another long elevator ride. With amazing elevator music. Damn, I was about to say, how long is this freaking r ride? Hey, look, it's my ship. Alright, let's see. Looks like this is like the corporate area. Wanna be famous? Uh, no, but let's see what you say. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? Nope. I like <laughs> I like where this is going. Tell you what, you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits. Listen, uh, you got an agent? Some kind of representation? I consider myself freelance. Fresh natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. Just tell me what you're offering already. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Boss, we have to. Oh, I forgot he's obsessed Your with cereals. He's got the right idea. He's also got a certain expendable look. Bring him along. We've got a lot of stunts to shoot. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Sure, why not? Terrific. We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't believe you, but why not? All right, where's Ellie's parents? Prosperity Plaza. More like Consumption Junction. Get it? I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gears. She was more worried about her rings than her fingers. Wow. That's... Interesting. Or how do I get over there? Olympus River? I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Well, you're suspicious. Oh, um, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Uh, does it, does it look like I'm up to something? Uh, you can say that. Laws, I knew it. Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? Yep, kind of. What are you worried about? Look, whatever's going on, maybe I can help. I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? Everyone gets a little distracted now and then. Well, okay, calm down, calm down. And tell me exactly what happened. They escaped. And before I could coax them back, they'd made their way to the maintenance tunnels. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Well, these are obviously high class people. Sure, why not? I guess I could look for your spra uh, sprats. Really? In that case, take this collection crate. Six of my little ones are down there, but don't worry. You can easily tell them apart from common sewer sprats. They have intelligent eyes, an agreeable yet reserved demeanor, and a fondness for hiding. Also, they're white rather than green. Please, do take care, and do mind the exterminator mechanicals. If the worst should happen to my little darlings, well, I still want their bodies. For science, of course. 
So what are the maintenance tunnels beneath Byzantium for? Well, to maintain things, of course. Like big humming machine things with gears. And pipes. Water pipes. Air pipes. All sorts of pipes. That's why they connect the city from the Acropolis district to here. But why won't you go down in the tunnels yourself? Everyone knows sewer sprats carry diseases. And the exterminator mechanicals have been known to fire on larger targets. Why they do that when they're only supposed to attack sprats, I've no idea. But there are rumors. And what are these rumors? Some people say there are strange things in those tunnels. Assassins. A room full of murderous auto mechanicals. Oh, Monsters here we go. For human flesh. A hidden bureaucratic purgatory where things and people are lost forever. Not that I place any stock in silly rumors, of course. Uh, it sounds like you believe them, bro. Uh, so you seem surprised that I was going to help you. I still am. After all, I'm a person of very little influence and only middling prospects. No one does favors for free. But I must say, I'm far too distressed to think critically about your suspiciously kind offer. Okay, bye. Alright, let's just go to Ellie's house. Looks like we're right around the corner, too. Let's check this out real quick. And... Nothing. And... More nothing. Persuade. Stealth skill. Defense skill. You. Alright, bye. We're literally around the corner. They look scary. Ellie's parents. Oh, here we go. Sure, they look fa There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Oh, so it's not me this time. <laughs> All right, Ellie. I hope you're ready. Wow, very high class. Ellie, what is going on here, dude? Marilyn, is that you? Laws, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? <laughs> Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Uh, spit, <laughs> spit on the floor. Fancy place. I'll probably be taking a few things with me. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. <laughs> anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not exactly. <laughs> Such a the last dick. few years have been a bloody haze. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Ellie, what are you trying right? to prove? Uh, theft, vandalism, profanity, you name it. We've done at least twice. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. <laughs> Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Wow. Well, let's just listen. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. <laughs> Keep going, Ellie. I like where this is headed. Uh, What is it? It's the floors. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. What? We thought you were dead. <clears throat> uh... Don't sound so disappointed about it. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you people are about to apologize for something? 
We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. Wow. You what? Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is so messed up, dude. I'm not even going to get in this. Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Uh, let's just continue listening. Why did you do that? We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Maybe if you guys were better parents. <laughs> I'll have you know, Ellie is a professional miscreant. <laughs> Why not? The neighbors would talk, and not in a good way. We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Curl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. Wow. It was quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. That's disgusting, man. Uh, let's just listen. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to uh, leave. Quietly. If you don't mind. Wow, dude. Wow. That's crazy. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. All right, dude. I'm, That's it. I'm about you to put my foot down. To disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. I don't know about you, Ellie, but I'm ready to cause a scene. Let's just get out of here, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. That's... Whoops. Wrong button. That is so crazy, dude. I can't believe that. A word, Captain? Yes, of course. I was about to try to talk to you. Can you believe those two? Oh, yeah. I can't believe it at all. I've been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Uh They shouldn't have gotten so upset. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid Aetherwave dramas and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider. And the glasses <laughs> all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouthed. Wow, she thought about this a lot. And then what? Well, that's a very specific fantasy. Shh, I'm getting to the good part. I'd have a great one liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or oops, did I just track? Awesome onto your rug. <laughs> what? Uh, listen. Father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. Hey, chin up. You're better than this girl. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. You know, seriously, dude. Forget about your reputation, dude. What happened was messed up. You deserve to be upset. 
You're, you have every right to be upset, I mean. Uh, I'm sorry. It's a rough situation. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base. Or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. Um... Yeah, this episode reflects on them, not you at all. But I want to talk about me now. Then go ahead, talk, dude, vent. I'm here to listen. Let me see. Uh, well, you can learn something from this. It's up to you to determine what that is. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? <laughs> anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Here goes. Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Uh... Keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. Let's see. So, how do we do this? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Uh, sure, let's go. We're about to make Ellie hey, rich. You want to know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we have all these secret messages in every episode, see? <laughs> what happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, <laughs> always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you. You on the alert, maybe? She hates him. Looking out for hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone. Oh, ex-boyfriend troubles. She re he reminds her of an ex-boyfriend, potentially. Looks like we're almost there. This should be very interesting. Hey. Uh, the sole letter in this mailbox is addressed to the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group's satellite office in Fallbrook on the planet Monarch. Damn it, I have to go all the way back. Uh, I don't want to go back to Fallbrook right now, Ellie. Whoops. Let's go ahead and just continue this mission while we're still here. Oh, no, that's the companion quest. And we'll go back to Fallbrook at a later time. Alright, which one's closer? Up here. They're both upstairs, too. Everybody really loves their cereals, don't they? They're Everywhere we go, everyone's talking about them. Where are we going? Oh crap, how do I get over there? I feel like we're just going in circles at this point. What's done in the box, my Let me see. Anything interesting? Dude, it's a gold one. That's freaking awesome. But no, no thank you. And that's the one we looked at earlier. Man, this is far, dude. Oh crap, no, not that way. Is this it right here? You must. Oh, there. That's one right there. What? Alrighty. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, there goes the advertising. I'm here for Minister Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. You don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. I am a courier from a place on Earth called New Vegas. Uh, sure I am. Sure you are. 
And what is it you're delivering today? His execution? I didn't bring it with me. Typical. Why don't you come back when you're ready to actually make a delivery? Okay, bye. I'm pretty sure we can go around the back. But I can't go in there. All right, so maybe you ever watch Agent Khan? We can just hop over the, ship, right? the thing over here. And we got a ship, right? So I got to thinking. Oh wait. Who would win in a race? The invincible or the unreliable? Felix, you watch too Oops. many movies. Man, this is gonna be just difficult. Like All right, so are my education. let's try to go Where to the other place. To kick a jackass in the chest. Minister's guard. What's pirates all about, right? Minister's parcel. Tell you, but a lot of the job is waiting for a gig, then waiting to get paid. I'm surprised I didn't break my leg. Let's go inside. Dude, this guy's armor looks freaking sick, dude. Oh crap, I can't go in there. Oh, how do I get in there? Hi. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. How to get in there. Let's go through here. Hey you, talk to me. Well, you're getting an early start on the day's parcels, aren't you? Absolutely am. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. Uh, what exactly do you do here? Oh, do you do you have a parcel waiting for Clark? Minister Clark, that is? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. I'm here to pick up, uh, the Minister's parcel. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Uh, and how do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form, and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. Oh god, here he goes. How long does that usually take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog, and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years. But I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. You're kidding, right? You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. I see. Where exactly uh, the lady in the front was talking about the suggestion box. So the minister's here in Byzantium. I'll make the delivery and you're free to make uh, to take credit for it. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Well, I got you, girl. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Thank you. Goodbye. Awesome sauce. See, those are the kinds of reasons why I absolutely love being a charismatic individual with hey, a silver tongue. When was it that you realized the board was crushing the life out of this colony? Yesterday. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the board? The machine of oppression? Ain't that why you became a pirate? Because you wanted to be free and all? Probably. I'm just after a paycheck, kid. All right, here it goes. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Chasing us off already? This feels familiar. <laughs> well, please don't cause a scene. I want you to know I'm holding back for your sake. Do you have any actual business here? Or... I got a delivery for the minister, dude. Chill out. Yeah? Let's see it. Got the parcel right here. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Thank you. All right. Uh, where is he? What? Why is it telling me to go back? Oh, okay, he's upstairs. Let's go. This should definitely be interesting. 
How did you get in here? Oh, you shut up. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? You know what? Let's not I worry about it. Trust this so-called minister fella, if that is his real name. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Well. Uh, should I just go straight for it? Fuck it, why not? Cut the crap. I'm here for time. Blah, 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 blah. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. <laughs> Will that be all then? I should just punch him in the mouth, huh? Uh I have records proving you've been hoarding diamond blah 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 blah. Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Back up and tell me what the hell you're talking about, bro. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. So the chairman's a crook who can't be trusted? Who knew? Uh, he's a politician. Please, this is That's important. all I gotta say. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. You expect me to believe this? After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? No, actually, I've you're been right. I've confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. If I look for details, he means knock things about and take what we like. Count me in. Oh, you're coming anyways, bro. That's certainly one way of doing things. Far be it from me to dictate your methods. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This you absolutely are. More than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Just tell me how to get there. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnel, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Uh... A few guards don't scare me. Wait, once I get to the, uh, whatever district, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Very nice. Then I'll be on my way. Wait. Brockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Interesting. Please. Take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're telling us you gathered up a whole mess of evidence on the board's corruption. How big is this cartridge again? Large enough, I assure you. That's why you must transmit the data to the Earth Directorate and hope for their speedy intervention. Uh, how long will that take? 
Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing wow. and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something. But if it works, it'll be worth it. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now, I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Well, a politician telling me not to trust politicians. That's a new one. Let's go. All right, so what's the what's next on our journal entry? Um, Minister Clark knows nothing about the... And explain... That Chairman Rockwell has actually kept him in under house arrest. Alright. So we gotta go straight to his place. But luckily he gave us his key card thing. So we should be able to have access in there. Oh, there. That's one right there. Yeah. I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> Although I probably should. I'll probably get some cool rewards out of it. But The Acropolis District is off limits. <clears throat> Move along. These are not the droids you're looking for. Mind if I take a breather? I'm pretty tired of hauling around all these bits. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? <laughs> these uh, have been weighing me down all day. Here you go. Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. Thank you. Goodbye. Woo! The slyness of my tongue. Nope, I don't think so either. All right, this should be very interesting. Sometimes. Actually, I did that at your house. How do I get in there? Hold up, real quick. Where is my map marker? Up there? I legit have no idea where I'm going right now. Maybe I'm just supposed to talk to this person. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today is greetings brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Okay, hi. Today's greetings brought to you. Okay, you're your freaking useless. Can I just walk in there? Say your business. Hi. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Will this key card work? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Oh, here he goes. Fine. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Oh, what a shame. You don't have to be sarcastic. <laughs> Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Why, thank you, kind citizen. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. They'll try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with their guts. I'm assuming Dervish. Oh, boss, I got a plan. First, we get ourselves some toss ball sticks, right? Here it goes. Saddle up to him all polite like. You do that. The rest of us will watch. <laughs> I was, I'm assuming that Dervish mist or whatever that he was talking about is uh, drugs. You know what? These guys, these two guys have a good chemistry. Felix and Ellie. Sucks because Ellie's my girl, but it's all good. You guys make a good couple. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, no, I'm not. But still. Hey, you. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Uh, what exactly do you do here? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery. Which is more of a hobby. Uh, any chance I could meet Char- uh... Well, that's exciting. The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. Will there be anything else? I'll be on my way. 
I wonder if I can actually go in there. These guys' armor look insane. Oh, it's locked. Damn it. How do I get in there? Oh, wait. Can I just walk in there? I can. Whoa, what the hell happened here? Is he coming? Is there something I can do for you? Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, let's try to talk to him. I beg your pardon. Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I won't be long. I'm just admiring the architecture. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Just goes to show you never really see your hometown till you travel with a visitor. <laughs> All right, let's use this terminal. Let's, well, while we're here. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, I just click buttons. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. <laughs> Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. <laughs> what? I swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. Okay. It frees most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots. How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this. Wow. While Halcyon's Freaking crooks. the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. <laughs> and so, wow. In the not too distant future, when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals. And rest assured, with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Wow, this guy's scummy as hell. Yeah, you don't say. But I'm all for living fast and dying young. Well, I don't know how that pertains to anything, Ellie, but you do that. <laughs> Alright, so where am I supposed to go now? Uh, you've learned is that the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale along whatever Chairman Rockwell is working on. So I just got the key to that place. So that's amazing. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put it all into this. Let's go. Let's actually go ahead and get my rifle back. All right, let's go. You guys ready? We're almost ready to. I just don't get how you could be so casual about your integrity, Ellie. The way I see it, you're either standing up to the board or you're standing up for him. Yeah, that is pretty weird. I know nuance ain't exactly your strong suit, but it's not that simple. Grow a few hairs on your chest and you'll see. I might not have your schooling, but at least I stand for something. Hiya! <laughs> anything. That's how the saying goes. All right, so where is... Okay, right here. Is this the building, actually? This, it, it appears so. Oh, this is intimidating. All right, so where is my map marker? So it's downstairs. We have to go downstairs. How do I go downstairs? Oh, crap, restricted access. So I guess we have to find a key, maybe? 
Um, HR. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out in the city. That would be down here. Oh, I can't hack this. Oh, all right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that girl scared the hell out of me. Wait, what is it? High society cigarettes? Does anybody here have one of those things that I can use to hack into things? Anybody at all? I just need one, I promise. I won't give it back. I'm willing to bet there's going to be one just laying around somewhere. I'm not going to risk anything and steal stuff either, so... Not with 900,000 freaking guards in this room. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? Yes, he did. That's right. You weren't here when it happened. Some DBL officer took him into custody. Oh, law. What did they take him for? Okay, I don't care. I'm on a mission. Get out of my way, you guard. Uh, I don't see nothing. But let's go ahead and check this while we're here. More of the pink stuff. So this is what? Uh, medium armor. This one is medium as well. Eh, okay. I can't find one. Oh no. This is going to be a lot more difficult than I expected. Alright. Well, I mean, the time is getting very close anyway, so we're just going to have to definitely call it a day right here, right now. But if this is a video you guys enjoyed or a series that you guys are enjoying, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.